Hey yo, what's going on everybody? Comedian Boxing Blood back for another review and today we're finally getting a chance to review Golden Tickets Chocolate Milk Flavor. Mmm. Uh, so it looks like um, Golden Ticket is a juice by a company called Met4. Uh, they say Met4 presents Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk. Um, so yeah, and then it has all their uh, accounts on it. Um, like at the bottom, you can see they have two Instagrams. They have at Met4Vapor and at Save Your Vape. If you can look right there. Um, so one second. It's hot as hell in here. I had to turn on my AC. Sorry about that. But yeah, let's do some stats. Um, so this is a 60 milliliter bottle. Came for about 25, 26 bucks after tax. Not bad. Um, I'm used to paying around 22 for a 60 mil. So, but 26 still isn't that bad. Anywhere, uh, anywhere more than 27, probably a little too much. But um, yeah, so this is a really nice design. Very shiny gold packaging. Um, I believe they also had a um, a contest with this, so it's called Golden Ticket. Um, so they kind of made it like a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory type deal, where like every now and then they had bottles uh, inside the package would be like a Golden Ticket. And if you pulled the golden ticket, you got like a free product from the Met4 Vapor Supply or something like that. I don't know. I didn't win, so not a big deal. But it's kind of a cool little promotional thing they have. Uh, or had. I don't know if it ended. I feel like this juice has been around for a little bit. But um, yeah, let's get to it. So again, this is the chocolate milk flavor. I got it in 3 milligrams of nicotine as always. Let's see if we can find... Uh, PGVG ratio. It doesn't look like it's on the box. So we're just going to go ahead and open it up. And right inside is your bottle of Golden Ticket. Really sweet design on this. Super smooth. Not sticky at all. Really sleek. Beautiful gold lettering. It's very reflective right now, but it looks perfect like when you look at it like dead on. So it says Met4 presents Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk, 3 milligrams of nicotine, 20, uh, 2 fluid ounces, so 60 milliliters. Um, it looks like it has the same stats on the back as it does on the box. Just got your Prop 65 warning, uh, list of ingredients. And then it has a bunch of poison control numbers for different countries on it. You've got US, the UK, France, Russia, and China. That's pretty cool, but I don't think they needed to include the poison control numbers. Um, I can't find a uh, PGVG ratio, uh, but it does say it contains USP vegetable glycerin, USP propylene gly glycol, natural and artificial flavors, nicotine 0.3% by volume. Um, if I were to assume, uh, I would guess this is about 70-30. Um, but don't quote me on that. Um, so let's uh, open it up. Obviously I've been vaping on it for a while. You can't see how much I vaped because obviously there's a coating of the sticker all the way around and this thing is pretty dark black. You can barely see if you catch the right light that there's like a small gap right there. So you'll, you'll know if you're out of it, but you can't see how much you vaped. Um, it feels like I'm about eh, halfway through it. So all right, let's, let's get to it guys. Let's take a smell. Smells exactly like like a Nesquik chocolate milk. 
kind of like you poured the powder in, you stirred it up. That's exactly what it smells like. It's a very subtle but rich chocolate. It has a little bit of a milky whiff to it as well. Awesome. Let's take a finger test. That was pretty unusual. So after it goes away, it, it kind of settles in your mouth and then you begin to taste the chocolate, but on the immediate finger taste, I don't know what I was getting. Uh, it was probably more of the milkiness and then the chocolate uh, kind of uh, dispersed throughout my mouth. But it wasn't until a few seconds after the finger taste that I really started to taste chocolate. But when I do, it's pretty good. All right, guys, let's give it a vape. Uh, today we will be vaping with the um, Hanger Tech Drip Box with the Medusa Reborn RETA sitting on top. Uh, the Medusa Reborn RETA, this one, uh, I installed the squonk pin, so I have this squeeze bottle loaded up with chocolate milk. Freshly dripped onto the coils, uh, 3.5 milliliter juice well, so we're gonna give it a couple squeezes. There we go. Let it seep into the bottom. We are nice and saturated right there. We got fused Clapton's and Native Wicks cotton. Reading, this build reads at point, you guys can't see that. This build reads at 0.15, we'll be hitting at 95 watts. Without further ado, let's vape it. This is uh, Metfor's Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk. Definitely a mild chocolate. Um, I am personally not a big fan of chocolate flavored vapes. There are a couple flavors of vape that I just not can't, that I just can't do. I can't, I don't like menthol or mint flavors. I don't like peach flavors. Um, and I don't really like chocolate flavors. But th I gotta tell you, this one wipes it right out of the park. It's delicious. It's um, almost refreshing. Um, it's chocolatey. Eh. If you like chocolate, I think you'll like this flavor. Very, very milky. Um, it almost overpowers the chocolate, but of course you can still taste the chocolate. It's not super chocolatey. It tastes like like I said, it's like Nesquik with the powder. It kind of tastes like you could have put more powder in it. But you're still definitely getting some chocolate and it's sweet and delicious. Um, let's do a retro hail and see how that comes out. The retro hail is super clean, uh, surprisingly clean. Um, Little bit of chocolatey and the little bit of chocolatiness in the back of your throat, um, creamy on the back part of your tongue. That was a super wet uh, retro hail though. Um, and as you can see, as always, I am congested, but uh, don't let that be a big factor. Um, it's thick, it's dark white, it's a very good body, and um, it's clean. It's delicious, it's tasty, um, it's good. Um, so let's get in the ratings. Let's check the body.
The body is great. The body is exactly how I like my clouds. Dark white, rich, um, full, and huge. Um, so, let me do one more. Huge body. Great body. The body's going to get... Body's going to get a 9.5 out of 10. Um, this flavor tastes reasonably good warm. Um, I think I like it better warm than I would like it cold. It doesn't really mimic like a hot chocolate in that way, but it still definitely tastes like a chocolate powdery milk. Um, you don't get the notes of powder, but um, it tastes like that kind of chocolate milk. Um, it's not sweet as it would with syrup, but it's sweet as it would with powder. Um, it's a, it's very rich, warm, um, like warm, warm milky flavors are really good. Uh, I love those kind of flavors, um, and I think with the chocolate, it actually, uh, the milk actually supports the chocolate and giving it a richer taste. Um, so like I said, the body's gonna get a nine and a half out of ten. Let's rate the retro hill. The Retro Halo is very clean. Um, not too much flavor lingers on afterwards, but definitely in the back of your throat. Um, you can taste the chocolatiness. I got like no harshness out of this at all. It's very smooth going down. It's very smooth on the exhale and the Retro Halo, um, which is very surprising. The only time I was coughing was when um, I turned the airflow holes the other way because that's normally how I like my airflow going this way instead of this way. But uh, the coils are built going this way. Um, and the deck is standing this way. So um, just because you want you want your airflow pretty much over, like right parallel with the coils. Just so you get better airflow, more heat, more flavor. Um, and it's not as constricted. Um, that's why I was coughing uh, when I first got this juice. And now that I've adjusted that, I'm no longer coughing get full hits out of this thing with pretty much no coughing. Um, it goes down super smooth. So, rating the Retro Hill, I keep getting off, top, off topic, I'm sorry. Uh, the Retro Hill is very clean, Retro Hill gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know if I've ever given a Retro Hill 10 out of 10 before, but it's a really good one. Let's rate the overall flavor and wrap up this review. So my thoughts on this juice is that it's super smooth, rare, uh, really milky, and not very chocolatey. Um, part of me wishes that now that I've found a chocolate flavored vape that I like, I wish there was more chocolate in it. I wish it was more chocolatey, like a, a richer chocolate. Um, it's not bittersweet or anything. It's a really smooth, decadent chocolate. Um, and I think there could be more of it. Um, but it is a very sweet, milky flavor. And overall, I am going to... I lost my cat. Oh, Whatever. Ah. I am going to give Metfor's Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk Flavor a solid 9 out of 10. Delicious flavor. I wish there was more chocolate. Um, that's about it. Um, that's all I really have for you guys. This has been my review for Metfor's Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk Flavor. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, check out my other videos. All that good shit. Hit the bell notification if you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. More reviews coming soon. Like always, I'll end you on a vape. You guys have a great day.